So this is my new plumbing setup using the Velocity 3.0 XS. This is basically all the tools that I use every day, comes into me on every single job. And what I want to do is just quickly give you a nice quick rundown of all the tools that I got in there, what I use them for. And yeah, as you'll see, this is a really nice tool bag. It's nice and compact. It's got all the pockets that you need. Nice drop down sections. Really, really nice. So let's get into it. So screwdrivers. Normally a lot of people carry a lot of screwdrivers. I just got the Weira Compact. It holds all my bits and it's a nice ratcheting screwdriver. So yeah, that's my choice. Like I said, I don't want to try and carry um, four or five different screwdrivers. I try and keep my bag as light and as inefficient as possible. But the only other screwdriver I do carry, as well as my little jabbing one, is a flathead. Now this is the chisel driver. So this basically gets used as everything it's like it's like the it's like a multi-tool but a manual multi-tool that's kind of what i class it as so i'm going to go from the top section and then i'll come into the front so right hand side of that i've got my open-ended spanners i've got a 32 mil so this does 22 mil compression nuts and i've got a 15 mil uh, which is a 24 mil so that one does all the 15s then i've got a Weira joker xl so if you don't want to use something like this or an adjustable spanner, what well, I'll get onto next. This self-setting Weira Joker is really, really nice. You basically just push the black bit, it opens up, go onto your nut, and it just ratchets. So you can just keep doing like this. Really, really nice. These are brand new for me, and I really like using them at the moment. So in my videos, you'll see me whip these out. And like I said, I'm really liking them. It's a six inch Wide Boy Baco spanner. Um, all the wrenches and spanners that I got here, you can normally get away with just using one of these or the next size up. But I don't really like keep setting myself up like this. They have a tendency of moving, they've got a bit of slip in them. So I do try and stay away from using these, but they're in my bag because I still end up using them. And like I said, I got the bigger version, which is basically a slim jaw, so he's like half the size of here. Now in the UK, I seem to be having a problem with brass fittings. They're just getting less and less material on them. And you do need something like this sometimes to get onto the male irons. So it always has to stay in the bag. I've got a big set of cutters. These are the Ruffenberger, I think they're called the Robo Cuts. They basically go all the way up to inch and a half, ratchet it down really, really nicely. Um, so I basically use that for cutting all my plastic and PVC pipes. Next to that, I've got the Tough Built Scraper Knife. He's actually brand new. Look at him, he's really nice and clean. I really like him because he's just a normal Stanley blade. But then if you want to cut some silicon out, he flips around so you can get all the stuff on there. Yeah, look, he just flips back up, push the button, and drag him down. Lovely little addition. You'll see him on some future videos. Grips. These are just the Nipex Cobras. Got the 250. And I'm pretty sure I got the 180 version. So it's the 250, 180. And I also got the pliers wrench. So these are the ones that normally get mistaken for these, but um, these are like flat flash jaws, so you can use these on any finishing chrome nuts. They're nice because you can sort of get a ratchet uh, operation on them, but they still got the feedback and stuff of normal grips. I keep a 16 mil joker um, where an open-ended spanner. So it's ratchet on this side and open-ended here. It's got this like sort of grab thing here so the nuts don't go all the way through. I don't really use it. To be honest, it tends to get in the way a little bit, but they're really good for radiator tails. So that's why he stays in there. I got a olive cutter. So this basically just splits the olives really, really nicely. If I don't want to try and pull them off for a pair of grips, I sort of get him out. And if that doesn't work, I get the saber out. So I've tried to switch away from using hacksaws. I don't really like using junior hacksaws. So I've got this Milwaukee sawzall knife which is really really nice so he literally pulls up and you could fit any type of blade in there so i think this is just a metal one which will basically do all my plastic as well but yeah really really nice little compact knife got a front section here so a nice little flippy panel inside here i keep my monument deburring tool so this does my plastic it goes all the way from i think it's an like overflow pipe which is like 20 mil all the way up to two inch yeah there's two inch on this side so yeah that deburs all my plastic and then i've got a weira anarchy set don't hate me for this but i don't use really the bigger ones so i just cut it off and it allows me to fit it inside the pouch really really nicely so i really like this little front pouch you can fit your pipe slices in there if you really want to but 
I use it for that. On the front, it's got plenty of D-rings. So I've got my bit holders. These are from actual Makita. They snap in really nicely. You can get the cheaper ones off like Amazon and TikTok, but I just find these ones much more quality, but they are quite expensive. I think these are about £10 each or £12 each. So yeah, it's quite expensive. And here I keep all my air vent keys. So this is the Plum Shark multi-tool. Uh, I keep an O light key light if I need one of them on a keychain. And I bought a normal air vent key, which I've cut off with a hacksaw and soldered. So some air vents in the UK, they're really, really hard to get onto. And uh, yeah, you need something like this. I'll just shift him around this way. So I've got a Pika pencil. I haven't used the tracers, but I get on with the Pikas really nicely. And then I got some marker pens from Milwaukee. And I think this is just like a, it's like a carpenter's pencil holder. Um, I've just cut him off and he actually holds the pens if you take a little bit of material off here really nicely. So I think I've done it to this black one and he drops right in there nicely. Got a javelin screwdriver. So this is a really, really small flat head that gets used to be just be jabbed into walls most of the time. Nice big O-light clipped on the side of the D-ring. Shines up everything what I need. Super bright, super, super useful. I think it's a battery bank as well. So yeah, you can charge your phone up and stuff like that. Got a stub buddy. Now these things are really good if you want to try and find a stud wall. They basically magnet straight to the dry line. So yeah, they pick up the screws. A pair of Nipex side cutters. Obviously, I don't need any explanation for these. They trim all my wires, or if an electrician gets in my way, I'll just snip his cables off. We all like to mess around sometimes, don't we? Got a Milwaukee fastback knife. Really, really nice knife, standard. And I got a deburring tool as well from Milwaukee. So that I just do all my pipes if I need to. Really, really good tape loop on the side for a five meter tape. These are good because you can actually hold your copper pipe while you're soldering. So it's a nice bit of strength in one of these. I normally used to keep three meters, but the three meters are a little bit floppy. So went for a five meter one. I've got an olive puller sat in a section here, as well as my radiator key. Is he going to come up? Yeah, he'll come up. So yeah, this is my radiator key. So if I want to make in lock shields and stuff like that, they normally come with a ratchet, but I don't really use him. I just get my wear jokers and basically ratchet them down. So yeah, I could just use that and slim down my bag a little bit. In the midsection, it's basically where I keep all my consumables. So I've got my paste, which you lot love to see me use. Uh, and I've got my Loctite 577, which is what I use for new radiators and in the bottom i've got my five fives uh, that'll basically do all my old radiators with old uh, threads and the loctite 577 is the new rads because i don't think you should be using this if you've got moisture in on the radiators got a little plastic tub which normally sits in this section and i basically keep my silicon tools in a little holder like that got a really small stabilizer level in the bottom and yeah, my pipe slice, which I'm using the rigid two in one. And this is quite a nice little tool. You pull this up and it brings the middle down. So he basically can use 15 mil. And then if you want to switch to 22, he pulls back up and away you go. Like I said, I do try and slimline my tool bags as much as possible. I don't really want to carry much excess weight if I can help it. So in the top section, I've got a really nice little drop section in here for my level. So this is a 400 mil stabilizer level and then next to that i got a 20 centimeter one so 200 mil so he gets used quite a lot even if i don't use him this way i'll stand him up on the edge because he's nice and rubberized i don't really like the magnetic ones because you stick them to a bath and you can risk scratching them so don't really like that my hammer of choice is the weha he's an electrician hammer but he's really really nicely weighted i don't really like big hammers like say more weight in your bag makes it harder for you to move around a bit more He's flat edged on here, so he actually fits really closely to skirting boards, which I really like. I've got a Stanley Pro Bar, so if I want to get any nails up from any chipboard, I can use him. I'm pretty sure this is a Stanley chisel, which basically gets used for everything. He's not really dedicated for wood. He gets smacked about a little bit, and I've actually used him quite a lot. He's held up really well. Um, yeah, really rate that one. And then I just keep a normal little hand file so if I need to file anything off, I've got a nice little file there ready. 
in the top right hand section, I've got my Pipe Vice Amiga Slim L. So this is the longer version, which is really, really nice for holding valves. Um, I've got the normal Slim, so that's a smaller version, which is really, really nice. And then I've got a tiny little Micro 10 if I need to get on anything. I've always got access to my Pipe Vices. And the final tool, the big bad boy wearer Joker. So this one will basically do 15 mil compression nuts like this one, but it actually does 22 mil nuts as well. It is a fairly big spanner. So if you're doing like a big install uh, where you're doing cylinders and boilers and stuff like that, it's a really, really nice handy tool that you can just get on and do all your nuts up without ever setting an adjustable spanner. So yeah, that's my little loadout. Plumber's loadout on Velocity Rogue 3.0 XS. Let me know down in the comments below what you're using. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the social stuff to help me out. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one.